Hi folks, hope you're all doing well. Well, here we are. We're going into another week and I have to share with you that your week two assignments were um, very diverse. I get a chance to see uh, the schools that people were in, what the inside of your school looked like, what the functionality of your school looked like, flexibility. Uh, your assignment was um, really intriguing to read because some of you are in the same almost establishment, let's say, and then some of you are so far away um, that I actually got to travel around the world as I read your assignment. So thank you for that. And they were very good, well written too. Um, great group of students, large group of students, a diverse group of students. So um, thank you for being who you are and for doing the great work that you've done so far. So as we move on, um, you have readings this week. You have a discussion board. And, um, you know, those are, you know, look up in the module, please, to see what they relate to. I don't need to redo or re-say, you know, what you know you can read yourself. Uh, but we do have an assignment that I'd like to talk about. And this is an exciting one for me. So you're going to be looking at um, something that has to do with curriculum, of course. And it's almost your choice. Your assignment, you're going to look at um, a framework or analysis of um, what you want to be working on for the future. And you could take whatever you're going to decide to work on, and you can work through that topic for the rest of the um, course, or you can, you can change for different topics. But whatever you um, want to analyze in your school right now, it could be writer's workshop, it could be a different framework you're using, it could be a curriculum piece you're using. Most importantly, please, whatever you select, make it useful and make it meaningful. So reflect on it a little bit. Um, think about what topic you want to venture into. What do you want to learn more? Are you on a committee? And is there some work that you can be doing that's going to support that committee? Um, make it like a little mini, mini, mini action research project. And again, if you want to continue with that topic for the rest of the um, course, please do. That would make it more than meaningful. So there is an exemplar in the course that you can lo look at. There is a grading rubric that you can look at. And I will check in with you as uh, the week goes by to see how you're doing, to see if you have any questions. Most importantly, um, feel free to call me Carol. I know it says Carolyn on my um, on my email as, as some other people have their, their full name. Um, but please fee feel free to call me Carol when you email me at c-m-a-r-c-o-t-t-e at u-n-e dot edu. Um, as you can see, we do not have the course message function in this course. I'd rather have you email me at my email. That email is on my computer. It's on my phone. It's everywhere at my fingertips, so I can respond to you ASAP. And then the other component is um, call me, text me. Uh, students do it all the time. If you are a return student in this course um, and you've had me before, you know that. So my phone number, cell, is 207-284-3680, and I hope you have a phenomenal week. Okay, thanks so much. See you online. See you in the discussion board. Bye.